Today we are going to speak with Lou Getboni. He is from North Carolina and he is going to speak about the about agriculture in North Carolina and the soybean crop there. Luke, how are you today? I'm good, Luis. Very nice to talk to you. Yeah, Luke uh, is a professor at the North Carolina State University. And Luke, give us a little bit in context, uh, the context about the North Carolina's agriculture. Uh, sure. It's very diverse, right? Yeah, North Carolina is is amazing state because uh, we have different regions. We have mountains, we have the Piedmont and the coastal plain. There is uh, there are three different regions with very diverse crops, and we have uh, soybean, corn, cotton. Uh, we have peanuts. Uh, we have uh, horticulture. We have pine trees, and uh, uh, actually we have. Uh, around 150 different crops that are used to, to grow in North Carolina. And also it's a, a state with a, a, a huge production of hogs and poultry and a little bit of dairy also. And so the agriculture is, is pretty diverse here. Yes, one of the things uh, that uh, is different uh, from the Midwest is that uh, you are not uh, very connected to exports, right? Yeah, uh, as we have this, this production of uh, hogs, uh, the swine produce and, and also the poultry, uh, we have this uh, local commercialization of the, the grain and uh, it's, uh, it's interesting this, this uh, different way that the, uh, the trades occur here. But, uh, yeah, but the, but the prices are the, the, the same prices that you use in the Midwest. It, it's a, a regular price of all these commodities. Luke works uh, at the extension of uh, North Carolina State University, so is, he is very much on the field. So Luke, how, are, how was the soybean crop this year over there? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm a professor at the NC State University and my, uh, my field area is soil fertility and, uh, and uh, as I have this extension appointment, I, I'm going to the field and, and helping the extension agents and the farmers with their, their problems related to soil fertility. And uh, this year is, is interesting first because the, the COVID-19 is a pretty different year with many different impacts in the field, in the farmers and in the cities. It's a, a pretty different dynamics this year. But um, uh, regarding to soybean uh, in 2020, um, in the beginning, in the, during the, the, the planting season, uh, uh, late April up to May, uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, rainfall here and uh, um, some very wet soils in that time and then we had some replanting some areas uh, but now the, the, the weather is pretty good it's pretty nice and the fields are going very well I think we will have a, a very good soybean season and also corn the corn is it's beautiful in the field now and what about the plagues? Uh, do you often have problems with plagues? Um, as usual, uh, we are having some stinking bugs and uh, other uh, normal uh, uh, plagues that occur every year, but nothing different from the from the other years. But in, interesting that in the beginning we had these very uh, wet uh, weather and uh, we had some uh, problems uh, with uh, shallow roots in soybean because uh, a lot of um, moisture in the soil 
And now the, the, we start to have less uh, uh, rains and uh, because that some, some fields are suffering a little bit more because uh, the root um, uh, system of the plant is not well developed. But uh, probably it, it will get better during the season because the, the, the soybean is starting to develop this, this root system now, and uh, I think it will be good. So how much are, are we expecting to harvest this year? What, what are the estimates that you are talking about there? Oh, well, the, the average yield in North Carolina is, is not pretty high. The average yield for all the states is 35 bushels per acre. It's, it's, it's not big. But uh, at the same time, we, we have uh, many farmers yielding uh, like 60, 70 bushels per acre. And um, uh, for example, the last week I was in, in, in a field and probably will, will be around 65. And uh, because it, it depends on the, the region. If you go to the coastal plain, you know, have these uh, uh, organic soils or mineral organic soils, uh, uh, we have the very high yields in this region. Uh, when you move to the Piedmont or the mountains, uh, uh, the, the yields will decrease a little bit because the, the soil type and because the climate and this you know, other other things that will influence the, the yields. Uh, but uh, we will expect a, a, a very good uh, harvest this year. Uh, actually, it will be, probably will be better than the last, the, next, the last year when we had some droughts in the States. What was the actual impact of COVID-19 uh, in the agricultural production there? Uh, well, uh, when we think about uh, in the beginning of the problem, like in March, April, uh, we had some problems uh, with the, some disruption in the, the food chain. And for example, uh, the restaurants uh, uh, stopped to buy goods, uh, agricultural uh, goods, and the, the, the farm start to throw away some milk and uh, uh, eggs and this kind of uh, product. And um, also um, we had some uh, outbreaks in slaughterhouses and uh, uh, we stopped to, uh, to kill the, pig, the pigs, the, the swine for some, some days and maybe it can, can impact a little bit the, 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 the food chain. But now it's pretty normal in the, the, the countryside, in the agricultural side of the thing. But uh, of course, uh, the, we have the unemployment is high, uh, is high and uh, we have this lower demand for foods and for goods and probably uh, we'll have some impact in the future, um, in a short future, in the agriculture prices. Uh, but um, uh, this is a Uncharted waters. Never. Uh, I think it, nobody knows exactly what will happen in the future because it can. This problem can stop uh, in some months, or maybe we will have many months ahead with the impacts of COVID. And when uh, exactly do you expect uh, to finish the harvest there? What, what days or what week of the, the year? Oh, it, it depends because uh, we have uh, um, some fields we are using double uh, cropping and uh, when we have the wheat in the, in the, in the winter, uh, we have the, the planting season a little bit later. Uh, when they don't have uh, wheat in the, in the winter, in the fields that don't have uh, wheat, we can plant earlier you know, during the season. So we have a, 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 a range of the harvest season, but uh, we are expecting to, to start the, the harvest in, in early October, going uh, maybe September and going to the end of October. 
Thank you for being with us. It was a pleasure having you here. Okay, Luis. Uh, uh, I don't have anything to, to add, and uh, uh, it's a, a pleasure to talk a little bit of agriculture in North Carolina. And uh, uh, I hope this conversation would be interesting for, the, the, uh, for your channel, and uh, you can keep talking in the future about agriculture here in the, this part of the United States. That was Luke Gertiboni, professor at NC University.